crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out. Up, motherfucker. So, do they have a suspect? Now, the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. <laughs> You know we're gonna beat them to the moon, right? Damn Reds won't get the jump on the U.S. of A. Goddamn right. Well, 
could still say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune yeah, when his well, daddy died. she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it at all. Couldn't agree more. Oh, my okay. God. She's gorgeous as all get out. But the wound I mean, every last goddamn dime is gone. Yeah, you the bottle. Was what what am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right I'm now, it's the only thing the Southern go. Union has to She's his name. She's been with us since our boy was in diapers. But you tell me, what was she thinking? Think that she's changed her son. Like I that. appreciate all of First, I wonder what she's been up to behind the... So but more than that, right. what kind of ideas has she been putting into my yeah, son's head? Yep, that's so lovely. Big, big old man, dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon, I could give a shit. Cause they're all gonna be white. Fuck them. Men. Mm -hmm. Dance straight. And I ain't got nobody. I got some money cause I just got a baby. I think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Been a cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's all connected. You see? We... <gasps> Do you see light trails? That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Dead man walking. Don't you know your name? Yes. That had a fucking hurt. Cover my ass.
on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. There he is. You were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Do not fucking like this. in your body. You hear me?
out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, if they get still near... Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead.
Club. left him with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's it. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? Gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. This is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer is gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to. Force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante and ask him. Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna want to cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's 
That's why I did what I did. By time you showed up. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. Why are we pretending to discuss this? You've given me most of the city already. Why would you stop now? Why, because of some bullshit need to make others feel heard? Fuck that. We got money to be made. My memory ain't that short, brother. You walked away from me last time, gave the turf to someone else. Well, lucky you. Here's your chance to correct that mistake. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. I'm beginning to think you ain't no better than Sammy or Sal. I'm told I'm on earns respect by making hard choices. I get it. You gotta consider all your options. Calling this one for Scaletta. No, no. I can't believe I ever let you talk me into this. I'm not just gonna sit here and allow you to lie to my fucking face. Hey, hey! I know you're used to your little Haitian boys bowing to your every whim, but that shit don't work around here, Cassandra. So cool it. My patience, my understanding, it's gone, Lincoln. You correct this course we own, or there ain't no words that can walk us back from where we headed. You ought to listen to her a lot. She may be a pint short of sand, but she's got truth in her. Calls it like she says it, the way I say it too. You've said your piece, Cassandra. Let it go. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. The way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. 